with almost 18,72,000 students registering for an exam and 9,90,000 of them clearing that exam and competing for a mere 90,000 seats is no easy task. Well, in case you are wondering, I am talking about the National Eligibility Come Entrance Test, popularly known as the NEET UG exam, which uh, gets us the eligibility to get into a medical college and pursue a career in medicine. So after the results of the exams are announced, there are various categories of students every year. So first category uh, of students are uh, those who are very much satisfied by their results and uh, those who are sure of getting the desired college or uh, any decent enough college and they are waiting for the counselling process. The second category of students are those um, who have other um, career options in mind. They have other alternatives and uh, they would have just written the exam um, to give it a try. The third category of students are those who might have missed the seat, MBBS seat by just a few marks or uh, who might uh, not have fully prepared for the exam and who really want to give it another shot, a fully dedicated one. So for the third category of students, there are various factors that you need to keep in mind before making the decision of uh, if you want to give it another shot or not. Trust me, the dilemma is real. I know it because I've been there as well. So with the hope of clearing this dilemma to an extent, today I'm going to share some tips that you need to consider before taking this decision of repeating another year. So the first thing is sit down and analyze your prep. What went wrong? Was it due to anxiety? Was it due to time management issues? Was it due to your uh, silly mistakes? Or uh, was it due to weak concepts? Once you figure out where was the mistake, where was the shortcoming and uh, you know that you could have done better, then definitely go ahead and give it a try provided you are ready to work on your limitations. Get over the low kya kahenge concept because ultimately what matters is um, how you feel about your decision. Once you've decided that you want to give it another try, you should not care about what others think, what others have to say. Um, because uh, ultimately what depends is your satisfaction. This uh, concept of what will others say it's a very big setback in terms of uh, taking the decision of repeating or not. Because if you don't get a college uh, in a good enough college in a first attempt and if you take any college then uh, people will obviously say that uh, she didn't get a good college or he didn't get a good college. And uh, if you take uh, a repeat year and then go to a college, they'll say that, oh, she couldn't make it in first attempt and uh, she had to take an extra year to prepare. So don't worry about that because people's memory is very short lived. And I'm sure they're the first one to congratulate you once you get into good college. So when I wanted to give it another shot, I said the same to my parents and they were uh, definitely worried thinking that uh, the same thing what will others think and uh, what if next year also you don't get a good college because uh, i had also got good enough marks in my plus two and um, so it was difficult to make the decision so i said them that i'm truly confident of uh, getting a good college next year if i give another dedicated attempt and uh, i also said them that i don't care what others think i literally turn a deaf ear to them and what matters is your support I'm grateful that they provided me with all the support that I could have asked for. In fact, more than that I could have asked for. And uh, I got a good enough college in my second attempt. So don't hesitate to give another try thinking of other people's opinions because giving another try is better than having lifelong regret. Also, there's one thing that you need to think over. There's no guarantee that you will get a seat or you'll get a good college that you want or the branch that you want like MBBS or BDS or whatever it is because it's a highly competitive exam and the number of aspirants increase each year adding to the maybe increase in seats or uh, even the repeaters they are increasing each year and the competition just gets tougher so what we can do is hope for the best and prepare for the worst the next point is don't get into peer pressure um, just because your parents want you to pursue medicine or just because your friend is taking another repeat year you don't have to uh, follow the same path because it takes a lot of dedication, discipline uh, to you know prepare, uh, sit at home and prepare for an entire year while uh, others, some of your classmates are pursuing professional courses. 
सो गो फॉर इट ओनली इफ यू आर रियली पैशनेट ओनली इफ यू आर रेडी टू गिव यूर हंड्रेड परसेंट द वाइज वर्स आर इज ट्रू एज वेल जस्ट बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स आर परस्यूइंग अ प्रोफेशनल कोर्स इन सम अदर ब्रांचेस एंड नो बडी इज टेकिंग अ रिपीट यर दैट डज इन मीन दैट यू टू हैव टू फॉलो परस्यूट so you do what's best for you and if you think that you'll be wasting an entire year then just do listen to these words by earl nightingale never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take to accomplish it the time will pass anyway so if it is your dream to become a doctor to wear that white coat with a stethoscope around your neck and pursue a career in medicine then you can definitely afford to give another year of preparation for neat ug because the future belong to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams another important thing to consider is if you want to dedicate your time completely for the neat ug prep or do you want to prepare for neat ug while joining a course on the side so if this was your first attempt and you gave your neat along with your boards and you couldn't concentrate completely on your neat prep owing to the boards uh, pressure or uh, any other reason then you can definitely go ahead and go for a complete repeat year or you can you know dedicate an entire year completely for the neat ug prep well if this was your second attempt and you really want to join mbbs and pursue your career in medicine then it depends on you if you want to give a complete dedicated year to any tug prep or do you want to join another ug course just for you know security we can consider joining another course on the side because uh, sometimes parents are worried or maybe even you are worried and you are not completely sure of getting that seat or uh, due to whatever reasons so you can consider that and you can anyway discontinue that course if you get once you get that mbbs seat so um that's for the second attempt if it was your third or fourth attempt and still you're not uh, sure of getting that mbbs seat then you definitely need to uh, take a very informed decision after considering the pros and cons after taking a discussion with your mentors well wishers parents friends Because maybe there's some mistake that you are repeating again and again which is leading to these results or just maybe the universe has some better plans for you after considering all these factors there's one more decision that you need to make that is if you want to join a coaching or not uh so uh, let's say if your concepts are pretty clear and you are very much disciplined dedicated and you can study at home with no distractions with no external influences then maybe you don't need a coaching you can just join in test series that will um, you know provide you a schedule or deadline to prepare the topics and it can get you accustomed to the exam and run if you feel that concept your concepts are not clear somewhere or um, that coaching can provide you an extra accountability you know being surrounded by people uh, who are like minded who are preparing for the same exam uh, seeing them work hard can make you you work harder as well or um, it can provide you with a schedule and keep you disciplined then definitely go ahead and join a coaching and start your prep i clearly chose the latter because um, i felt that i had some concepts which need to be cleared and clearly i also needed some accountability and discipline well, it's a very common notion and even i used to say that i have taken a drop to prepare for neat ug uh, when i joined my coaching one of our uh, teachers um, said that why do you people call yourself a dropper you haven't been dropped out of anywhere you are just repeating it you are just giving another shot so from then on i have never called myself a dropper or any others in fact i use the word repeater and i also feel that it's clearly a better choice they say dare to dream and decide to do if you are watching this video i feel that you have clearly done the first part now the time is to decide and go for it i hope this video was of some help to you in providing the insight and making the informed decision if it did then do let me know in the comments what is your decision all the best until next time take care